Right, now there'll be four of them. Uh, Gary Richard, Chris Melton and his wife, you know the counsellor, they live in Oak Hill View, I think. Yeah, I know. So the flight's due in at eight. I know. But I would ring beforehand just to check so it saves you hanging about. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll pop into yours on the way round and uh, teach you what I do with curly perm. Oh, Steve, now come on, there's no need to get all shirted. I was only trying to be helpful. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want a chip? No, I need one. <laughs> hey. Sarah? We're going home, all right? Sarah! Some minor man. How was your holiday? Let's just say my little black book is now out bulging. Yeah, that's why we didn't get a postcard, is it? You betcha. <laughs> Few stories to tell you. I bet you have. <laughs> you have you been crying? No. What is it? What's wrong? Nothing. Oh, come on. Uh, David, you have to do that now. Are well, you were the one complaining about the mess. All right, look, would you, uh, would you get Bethany a drink, please, sweetheart? I saw Candice kissing Aid. Oh, Sarah. Oh, darling, why can't you be a bit more choosy with your friends? Me? Yes, well, Candice. I mean, a blind man in a blizzard could see she's a sneak. <gasps> Don't fit, though. Oh, cheese. Mm, but Aid's not much better. He was kissing her back, I suppose. Yeah, well. Oh, well, well. Now, you can't go blaming her and then sticking up for him. Anyway. Well, there's no need to be in trouble. They deserve each other, if you ask me. I don't deserve this. Well, why didn't you say as much instead of skulking away with your tail between your legs like that? Look, Gran, I'm hardly going to start a slanging match with Bethany there. Make sure you catch up with them tomorrow, then. I'll try catching up with her today. She's got a phone on Diver and she's not answering the door. I know why now. Gran, can you not look after Bethany for a bit? I won't be long. Madam... You said that last night, and then you swanned in at midnight. Well, Grant, I can't just sit here knowing that they're laughing at me behind my back. Could you? <sighs> Couple more years, this boy will be swimming the channel. <laughs> What's going on? You doing a runner? No, just sorting out some of his stuff. Hey, he's grown out of this already. Did you hear that? Fatty. Oh. Fatty, fatty. Never mind, it'll do for your little brother or sister. Uh, I couldn't find the rest of his stuff. Have you put it up in the loft? Uh, no. But there isn't anything in the suitcase under the bed. <sighs> no, I gave it away. What, everything? Well, the jumpers and the baby grows. Not his teddy bear dressing gown. It was never going to fit him again. Yeah, but that was a present from Emily. Who did you give it to? Oh, just some people. Some people from the mother and toddler group. I mean, there was Julie. She's on her own now. And then there was Debbie. Her husband's just been made redundant. <sighs> But that's hundreds of quid's worth of stuff. Did you really think we'd never need it again? Well, you never said so. Yeah, I know, but... All right. All right. Change. Oh, ta. What's going on? There you are. Oh. You're a gent, aren't you? Well, all part of the service. What are you doing? I'm drinking this. And then I'm going to tell Candice what a two-faced little tramp she is. <laughs> hey, and she argues back, you can always hit her with the bottle. Funny. Don't tempt me. Oh, but two girls fighting over a lad, though. Well, pony. You won't get that Oxford University. Lad. Aiden. Two losers fighting over a waster. Oh, why don't you write an essay about it? Cos I won't waste me paper. How'd you put up with that? Hey, I only live with him. You went out with him. I can't remember why. He's got more in common with my gran. Two pints of lager and a short back and sides, please. <laughs> so how long have you been working here? What, are you complaining? Yeah, a couple of weeks. I'm not Audrey's favourite person at the moment. So we snapped her up. Yeah, only because she wanted her roots doing. <laughs> oh, cheeky. <laughs> how are you fixed for Sunday, anyway? <laughs> oh, well, Audrey's loss. Mm, I'll bring them over. Cheers. Oh, Hi, love. Hi, love. Do you want No, I'm not stopping. I just uh, popped in to tell you that a nurse you need packed up again, so I'm sorry we've got no hot water. Oh, I'll ring the plumber first thing. Are, are you calling in later? Yes, I do. All right. Oh, you're back then, I see. Missed me? Boy, I haven't missed paying out. <laughs> no, that's more potatoes to me, that thing. <laughs> yeah, you wish. Oh, he's got a race meeting on tonight. Oh, yeah? What's that? Oh, donkey derby to the likes of you, mate. I'll see you tomorrow for a proper bet. <laughs> Give us a tip then. Oh, well, you give us a chance. We've only just stepped foot off the plane. 
So do you do the dogs then? Uh, got off with a few in San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> Prefer the GGs myself. Cheers. No, I was just saying, because my dad races greyhounds. It's a good night. You want to get him to take some time? Mm. <laughs> you are not as daft as you look, are you? Well, then you can return the favour, can't you? What do you think to Faye's dream in the big race? <sighs> So you managed to prise your tongue out of his throat then? Eventually. He's supposed to be my mate, and you're supposed to be my best mate. But since they came on the scene, it's aid this and aid that. And sorry, Candice, I can't see you tonight because I'm with aid. So you're trying to pay me back? No, it's just a lucky extra. Oh, dead mature. Listen, if aid would rather be with me than you, then I can't do anything about it, can I? Candice, he thinks you're thick. You proved that last night by getting in that car with him. Wrong. Getting in that car was one of the best ideas I've had in ages. Actually, second best. The best was pulling over in that country lane. I'm warning you. Stay away from him, Candice. After last night, you try keeping him away from me. Oh, this'll be him now. Norman, did you really think I'd want Ben to be an only child? Well, I'm an only child. I'm not sad and maladjusted. Yeah. No, of course not, but I don't want that for Ben, though, do you? It's the first time you've said. Yeah, I know, but oh, just imagine it. Like a little brother or a little sister for him to share his toys with. But not his clothes, eh? <laughs> or just someone he could stick up for in the playground. Yeah, well, it would be nice. So when were you thinking of? A time like the present. <clears throat> well, I've got him and I've got a shepherd's pie in the oven and it's got to be out in five minutes. And... Yeah, well, check your diary for a window. Oof, I wish. You don't seem very keen. No, it's not that, no. It's just that having a baby's hard work. It's a shock to the system. We've got to be rock solid. And you don't think we are? <sighs> not as much as we was. I mean, we're not heading for the divorce court yet. But we're both assuming stuff. And we're not talking. And we're both getting it wrong. And that's on something as important as whether we should have another child or not. What does that tell you? Yeah, maybe we need to spend more time with each other before we think about getting pregnant again, eh? It doesn't stop us practising, though, eh? This is ridiculous. Now what, will you ring the police? But this street is never empty. How come no one saw it being taken? Well, never mind that. Will you get it back? And if you do, how many points will you have on your licence? Or will you still have a licence? Unless it was Peter, which would explain why nobody thought to stop him. Ken, what is it with you and this lad? What what kind of hold does he have over you? He hasn't got any hold over me. Then what are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of it. Well, yes, I am, actually. I'm frightened of looking like a paranoid old fool, cooking up conspiracy theories because I've got nothing better to do in my life. We can say it's Aiden, know it's Aiden, but we can't prove it. There is a hole where your car should be. That's proof enough for me. Fancy a lift? Coronation Street, Cornwall, Caracas. No any country lanes? City boy me, don't do countryside. Oh, well, that's not what your girlfriend says. Which girlfriend is this? Oh, you know, the one that rides around with you in a stolen car. Uh, borrowed? Driven with tender loving care? Simple question, Aid. Straight answer. Have you done me for Candice? Uh, nope. Then what are you doing snogging her behind my back and why are you parking down country lanes with her? I'm scared of the dark. Three little numbers, Ken. It really is that easy. But it's not. We're 99.9% .9 convinced. No. We'd have to be clinically brain dead not to be. No, you're wrong. Oh, Ken! Stop being so English about this. So reasonable and sporting no, and... Don't start attacking me for thinking through Thinking the... is fine, as long as you do something on the back of it. All right, well, just let me finish, will you, for thinking through the consequences. If it's Critchley, if it's always been Critchley, then he's done it for sport. Getting one over on Barlow, not getting Barlow's car. Borrowing, not stealing. Oh, right. Oh, well, I'll go and borrow the crown jewels then, shall I? See what the police have to say about that. Oh, don't be absurd. But you're not making sense, Ken. 
We know he'll bring the car back. Do we? So I'm asking the question, aren't we better waiting? Catching him red-handed. Oh, a stakeout. Fantastic. We wait till he pulls up at the front door, snap him with a camera, and then we ring the police. They might just turn up by next Wednesday. And you call me absurd. Sarah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Let's not leave the engine running. Someone might pinch it. Come on, talk to me. What, so that you and Candice and probably half of Weatherfield can have a laugh at me? No. And you can twist it all and make me look stupid? No. So I can explain. It didn't mean anything. It was just messing around. Sometimes you can be so serious. I have to be. Because of Bethany. Oh, so you do remember her name, because usually she gets the kid. Bethany's great, cutest kid I know, and you're great with her. It's just I'd rather be with you on your own. I was on my own last night. But you were thinking of her. So you went off with Candice to punish me? I went off with Candice because she was there. Is that the best you can do? You snogged her! She was all over me. Well, you were hardly protesting! Do you think this was easy? Getting the keys cut, sneaking the car out and driving around without getting caught? It takes bottle. It takes genius. You want someone to see it. You want a fan club. Your face when you first saw me in that car, it was a right blast. But then you're like, show's over, time to go home, thank you and good night. I like you a lot. You better move it. You're pretty, funny and you're cool. I care for you, I really do. Aid. Get in the car. Just why I shift it. Oh, yeah. No stunts. He says. Please. <laughs> it's only to save me from a pasty. Oh, hello, yes. Yes, I'm calling to report a stolen car. Talk stupid. That's what you're saying. You begrudge me bothering with my daughter, run off with my mate. Unless, of course, this is another wind up. Well, the thing with Candice was a wind up. I shouldn't have said it. No, you shouldn't have. She was the one doing all the running. She kissed me. I was just brassed off with you for going home. Ah, you wanted me to come out and tell you how fantastic you are. I'm fantastic though, aren't I? <sighs> well, maybe not quite so fantastic now, but you'll think so by the time I've made it up to you. I bet you will. I've groveled enough. I don't want you to grovel. Aid, I just want you to be straight with me. All right. I think you're gorgeous. And I want to go out with you properly. Forsaking all of us. What do you say? Mm, well, if I haven't got a better offer by tomorrow, I'll think about it. Oh, no. What's up? Did you arrange to meet her tonight? Me? No. Well, she only wears those shoes if she's really out to impress. Get down. Hey, they were my chips. Woo! Woo! Come on. Is that not Shelley? No, it's uh, no. We've not been together long enough for that. What's she like? Hey, what's she like? <laughs> You're not going to tell me, are you? <sighs> Got me down as a bunny boiler or something. Think I'm going to pitch up at the pub and slash her lager pipes? No, it's not that. Well, then, come on. Well, I mean, it's, it's a bit sick, isn't it, talking about my girlfriend when I'm lying in your bed? Well, go and sit on that chair. I'm interested. Well, I don't know, what can I say? She's, um, she's lovely. She's got long blonde hair, she's got a beautiful smile. She's one of them kind of girls that, you know, put people at their ease. She's a good laugh, then? <laughs> yeah, she is a good laugh. Low maintenance? What do you mean? What, um, 
facials and manicures, all that sort of rubbish. No, I mean, easy going. She does her thing, you do yours. Yeah, I suppose, uh, yeah, up to a point. I mean, she needs a lot of reassurance, Shell. Yeah, she needs she needs a lot of reassurance. I mean, that's not because of me. I mean, I've never done out like this before, you know, that's... That's just how she is. <laughs> well, we're sure of then. Hey, Shell. Look, just a quickie. I know you're busy. Are you nearly finished? Uh, well, I, d I don't know, love. Why? Oh, it's dead in here. And Fred reckons I can make an early dart. Do you fancy going for a curry or something? Yeah, we could do. Yeah, what? Um, what sort of time are you thinking? Well, sooner the better. When have you finished? Yeah. All right then, love. I'll uh, I'll see you in a bit. See ya. Bye. Bye. Well, you're not such a good liar as I thought you were. Hmm. I suppose I should be glad. Go on, get your kit on and go. Oh. Nah. Let's have another half an hour, eh? <laughs> that could fly. Yeah, apart from the kids screaming behind us. Anyway, it's on time. My MC Amada, keep that the right way up, driver. There we go. Oh, looks like the weather was nice, Richard. It? it was very nice, thanks, Steve. There we go. Right, well, Coronation Street, barring flood, fire and famine. It is still standing, I presume. It is. Hey, Tony, you should come round to our house, see how the other half live. Oh, listen to it. You're hardly one of the hoi polloi yourself. Hoi polloi? Uh, doesn't that come with a, a sweet and sour sauce? <laughs> Oi, keep your eyes on the road, you. Actually, it's this. Oh, charming. Hey, remember to take this rubbish and all. Keeps a tidy car, does Barlow. Handy packed screen wipes, not one but two air fresheners, plastic cover on his atlas, and look at his tapes. He's got tapes. Check out the glove compartment. Alphabetical order. Oh, you lie. From Bacaraxi. Wagner, yeah. Wagner, you dunce. It's German. Oh, you've done this. There's no way Mr. Barlow's that uptight. Well, I thought you might appreciate it. Aid. Oh, ready? Say cheese. Don't mind me. Todd, it's half term. So? So, what's with the homework? Got a college visit on Friday. Oh, right, and uh, where's that again? Nowhere. No, I don't, I've forgotten. Oxford. Ooh! Want me to show you on the map? <laughs> no, don't bother reading all that, you'll walk it. Well, look, you're from a poxy comp, you skin, you're northern, hey, and you look like a gay boy. Four boxes tick. Todd Grimshaw. Come on down! <laughs> Peter? You have no messages in mailbox one. No, oh. oh, this isn't on, you know. I mean, your mum and Richard will be back soon, and what are they going to say? I think I can't control her. You can't. David! I can't believe you fell for that. I won't be long. Routine, two nights running. Oh. Hello? Candice? Uh, it's uh, Audrey Roberts, love. Sarah's gran. Could I speak to Sarah, please? You'll have a job. Why not? Cos she's not with me. Oh, uh, well, have you any idea where she is? Dead in a ditch for all I care. Oh, she's a very nasty little piece of work, isn't she, that madam? Oh, dear, come here. What are you doing? Now, keep an ear out for Bethany, right? I'm going to look for Sarah. Hiya, you can. Is he here? Oh, sorry, I was expecting the police. Uh, is who here? Peter, he's late and he's not answering his phone. He's supposed to pick me up from work. Uh, in what? Not in my car. What are you on about? Well, my car's been stolen. I've reported it to the police. <gasps> no, when? Tonight. And if it turns out Peter's taken it, I'm going to look a right fool. Well, he didn't mention how. What makes you think it's him? Hi, love. Oh, hi, Deirdre. Do you mind if I use your phone? No, no. Carry on. Thanks.
His mobile still switched off. What's he playing at? Well, he's not up to his old tricks again, is he? Out boozing with his mates. Or helping the police with their inquiries. Better not be. Drink. I think my liver needs a rescue. <laughs> Besides, Tony's pining for the cats. Ooh, says the man who sent them both a postcard. <laughs> Gail, it's been fabulous. Aww. We'll get together soon, yeah? Yeah, I'd love that when we've got the photos. Here comes trouble. <laughs> Hang on. Inside you, nothing on your feet. I'll just give you one. Um, that's not the pretty bag. <laughs> the honest <laughs> approach. I like it. Go on, let's get you inside before you catch your death. Oh, it's too chilly. Have you seen the time? No, it flies when you're having fun. Yeah, I have to get back. Well, there's petrol in the tank. Well, my mum and Richard are back tonight. They wonder where I am. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, you're the boss. Aid! We're going too fast. This is nothing. If it's shampoo or even a bottle of gin, we're all right. But if it's oil... I don't keep oil in the boot. Olive oil. Chris, did you buy that garlic oil at the airport? Hey, I'll get this. No, 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 I'll do it. You both pay me if you like. Place. No, you stumped up for the trip. The well, least I can do is get the cab fare home. Ah, uh, well, if, if you insist. I do. And thanks. Thanks so much to both of you. Yeah, you've been fabulous hosts. Thanks. I'll let you know about the hostel. Sure, yeah. You know where you're going, don't you? The hostel? Is it the Vale Hostel? The next door to the ridings, you know it? Know it? I lost a penthouse flat because of it. The missus was heartbroken. Well, you might have been hasty. We're still reviewing it. We? The council. Can we get going, please? Tell me it's not true. What was it? You haven't used my money to remortgage from my house to take two complete strangers on holiday. Fast. I mean it, there's people about. I thought you were in a hurry. If you don't slow down now, I'm getting out. I'll take the shortcut. No, don't. We did, sir. Shut the door. Don't be down. Shut it down. No. 